Hey, how's everyone doing today? So I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on MIDI-ness. If you don't know, MIDI-ness is a MIDI sequencer with some really cool features. Today I'm going to be showing how I've been dealing with chords and more specifically getting weighted probabilities to create a type of chord sequencer. So what does that mean? If we have, say, two chords, a C chord and a D chord, we can give the program a percentage chance of playing either of them. So maybe it'll be 20% chance of playing a C and 80% chance of playing a D. I'm going to be splitting this tutorial across a few different parts to make it more manageable. Um, we'll be including things like add chords, add sevenths, ninths, and elevenths, and then you know, adding some bass notes and some melodies to that later on. Anyway, with that in mind, let's uh, jump right in. So up in the top left hand corner here, we've got the toolbox with the first uh, the first option being a select tool. The second option being uh, our note tool. The third one being our pathing tool. And then this is how we connect our nodes together. If I go back to my select tool, your first node should actually look a little bit different. If it doesn't, then press this start button here and you'll see that it has a slightly different appearance. This is where our traveler begins its journey. And essentially the traveler is uh, what runs the sequence. So if I turn on our internal synth and press play, we should hopefully have some noise. All right. So I'm going to turn our start node to mute. I just want that to sort of be a function of starting and not actually play anything. Our first note to C, our second note I'm going to change to a E, and our final note, I think it's 67. Yeah, 67 is to a G. So now we have our C major chord. But they're playing in sequence and not at the same time. So how do we change that? So let's just juggle these about a little bit. I'm going to delete these pathways. Reconnect them individually. And finally go back to my select tool. Select this node and I'm going to put it into the second mode. Now what this one does is it means that it's going to fire off a traveler down each of these pathways individually. You might be wondering why I've got the node set up like this. It's because each point on the grid is a quarter note. So we've got one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And with this setup, each note should play at the same time, making a chord. Lovely. Uh, very quickly, I'm going to select all three of these and change the duration. So one is a quarter note, two half. Three would be three quarters and four would be a whole bar. So now when I press play, they play for a bar. This top one here, I'm going to change the mode now to the circle. Now this makes it a portal. So if I go back to my pathing tool and put this back to the beginning, well now our traveler that comes here will get ported back to the beginning and we'll have a loop. Beautiful. All right, and finally, I'm going to go back to our select tool, select this, and this is going to be our one chord, our C major. Okay, so next up, we're going to make a second chord. So I'm going to come to this start. I'm actually going to make it so it's no longer the start. I'm going to grab everything, copy it, paste it. Uh, let's get rid of this. Path. I'll show you the cool way to do this. So if we select our portal node, this blue icon here on the right clears all of the paths that are leaving the portal. So now we no longer have a loop. It's only heading in one direction. We'll do the same to this one. Cool. All right. Now this second one is going to be our two chord, which is minor. And we need to actually set it up. So it's going to be D. F and A. Okay, so next we need to put down some more 
note point. So first, let's make this one is going to be our start. This one here is going to be what does the weighted probabilities. So it's going to be choosing the percentage chance of heading to the one chord, the C. And then on the right, it's going to be the same the probability that it's going to go to our two chord, the D. So with those down, let's go back to our select. This first one is going to be our start node, muted. In fact, let's grab these and mute those as well. And this middle one here is going to be our weighted one. So this is the third mode here. And then these two guys on the side are going to be portals. So I'm going to click on the first one, hold down shift and click on the second one. And then we can turn them both into portals at the same time. So now if we go to our pathing tool, connect to this one. This one then connects to these guys, and these guys in turn connect up to our chord. And we'll take our portals and put them back to the beginning so it loops. Cool. And there's only one last thing that we need to do. Because we now have um, an extra node at the bottom, we actually need to move these up one to keep everything in time because we're using a quarter note to make this decision. So now when I hit play, all right, but the weighted decisions actually um, one to one. So we want to change that. So we actually need to, it's a little bit of a fiddle. So I'm going to move this away and I'm going to move this away. The path that comes out of our um, our choosing node will have this little section here. So as I hover over this 107, you can see that uh, this one is flashing. Now if I press one on the other side, which is 106, and oh, I have to click it, click it, you'll see that that one starts flashing. So at the moment, these both have a weight of one, but we can do this as a percentage. So I'm gonna say I want an 80% chance of it heading to the C chord. And we'll change this one to 20, and there's a 20% chance of it heading to the other chord. Move these back in. And when I press play. There we go. Uh, you can see like more frequently it is, stop that, more frequently it's choosing the one chord. All right, so what can we do from here? Let's disconnect these, which are looping back to the beginning, and create some more chords. So let's make a three chord, which is going to be minor as well. Oh, yo, that's the wrong one. Uh, the oh yeah, sorry. Just this here. Change that to a three. Okay, and this will be an E. G, which is nice, 67. <laughs> and B, cool. Anyway, I'm kind of done a cheat and I've gone ahead and done this for all of the chords for the C major scale. So I've got them all set up here. Um, so the reason I'm not using uh, the scales or these scales and root notes here is because later on when we're doing the add notes and such it's just much easier to have it set up like this and also if we want to modulate or key change it's also much easier to uh, have everything pre-selected so I'm in the process at the moment of upgrading uh, a template project where I'm just going to have every scale set out with all of the notes done for us anyway so what can we do from here let's get rid of this three we don't need it and when we've got all of these Let's move them up a bit. Oops. We can very easily say, okay, how do we want this piece to go? Let's get rid of this two chords as well. I always want our progression to start with the C. However, after a C, so let's grab what we've got here. Control C, copy it. Control V, paste it. And I actually need to Put that second one back in there and don't forget to part it back together. Um, for this second one, I want to go to either, oh, let's just do it easy, uh, a four or a five. 
one, four, five. Beautiful. So we're going to copy these, pull them up to here, paste them, go to our pathing tool. Oh, I forgot to mention um, our tools at the top are actually key bound. So Q is select, W goes to our note, and E will go to our pathing. So then we're going to path this to here, path this one to here, and pull this one to the selector. And then these portals, just where it gets a little bit fiddly, are going to come all the way back and loop back round. So, like so. So now when we press play, it will always go to the C chord first. Then it will select whether it's going to play a fourth or a fifth afterwards. I see I've got my weight set up in a funny way. So we've got 80 on one side and then one on the other. So it's hardly ever going to play. I'm just going to set this up to 50-50 for now. You can also do 1-1 one, one or whatever you feel like, but I like working out of 100. All right, so once again, I'm going to delete these paths back from the loop. I'm going to spread these out a little bit further. And this time we're going to say, okay, copy this. If we play the four chord, or if we play the five chord, we're then subsequently going to have another two chords that we can play. So let's say if we play the four chord, after that we can play <laughs> the fifth. Why not? And we'll do the same on the other side. If it plays the fifth chord, it can then play the fourth afterwards. Or, or let's say I have sixth. So we grab the sixth, bring it up, paste it in, paste it in, go to our pathing tool and then these guys together, sync everything up, and don't forget to get, we now need to get all four of these guys, and this really is where it gets fiddly, back to this starting loop. So something that I find, especially with the really big problems projects, is I'll grab this, and I'll just put it up here. So now when I go to my pathing tool, it's just a lot closer to Plug it back into the start. Cool, we'll go back to our selector and we'll move that back to where it was. Somewhere around here. That looks about right. So now when we play the one chord, it will then either go to the four or the five. If it goes to the four, it will then either go to the five or the six. And if it goes to the five, it will go to the four or the six. So I'm just going to turn off the internal synth quickly um, and go into live. I'm not really going to be talking about how to set up DAWs too much because obviously whichever you're using is going to be very, very different. Um, I use live, so if you use live, this will be super simple to follow along with. If not, don't worry. I'm not going to talk too much about it. I recommend uh, looking into your DAW and how to do things like it. Uh, so I've just got a piano set up here. Um, I changed my MIDI from to MIDI this port. And we don't have to change the channel, but I'm going to change it to channel one and monitor to in. Now, when we come back, turned off internal synth. And of course, like I was saying earlier, you can, uh, you can do anything. We might want to choose a three chord. Instead of a, I don't like this six. So just get rid of that. And I just get rid of that. Yes, again. Throw in a three chord, go to a pathing and set that up.
Alright, well, I hope that's been useful to you. And, like I said, in the next part of the tutorials, we'll be looking into doing some ad notes. Um, we'll do some chord inversions as well to make it a little bit more interesting. And, and then from there, we'll look at bass notes and melodies as well. Alright, thanks very much for watching.